in the last lecture we actually uh, added the functionality to send the email when the user register in this lecture i'm going to show you the script that will be used to activate the account once the user clicks on the link i have added one more file here which is activate.php and uh, this is basically just simple we have here a php script that checks if result is set then echoes the value of results and i have also included headers.php and pass sign up.php okay next i'm just going to grab a code from my snippet and this is going to be my activation code so i'll just grab this and we go over to pashas sign up so in sign up.php we're going to include an s part the first condition is checking if the user has clicked on the sign up button this next condition will be checking the url parameter to see if the id variable is set in our php get super global variable if this id variable is set we are going to get the value which is in the id variable this is going to be encoded and we're going to store this in a variable called encoded id so next we're going to use the base 64 decode function to decode the id and next we use the php explode function to convert the value here to an array and uh, finally we are just going to assess the uh, last element in the array to get the id of the user the next line of code we have here is an sql statement to update our users table this is going to update users table and set that column activated so let's go back here we have a column here activated and uh, right now the default value that we set is zero so this is going to set activated to be equal to the value that we will specify. We're using PDO placeholders where ID is going to be equal to the ID that we're going to specify. And we're going to only do this for those users where the activated column contains the value zero, which means if the account has already been activated, this uh, update script is not going to run. So next we prepare our SQL statement and then we are going to execute our SQL statement. For activated, we're using a value of one to show that the account has been activated. And then we are passing in the ID that we got from the uh, URL variable. Next, we're just checking the row can function to check if the statement that was executed here returns a value of one if it returns a value of one which means one row was actually affected we're going to store this message in our result variable email confirmed your email address has been verified you can now log in we put a login link here with your email address and password so if the value that was returned from here is not equal to one we are going to say no changes made please contact site admin if you have not confirmed your email before what i'm just trying to do here is if the user has already activated their account and they go back to their email again and click on that link we are going to show them this message save this i'll go back to my email address i'm going to click on confirm email so we're getting an error message here line 108 undefined offset one and we have the message no changes made please contact that admin so we're going to go back to our script here and see line 108 so which means this is where the problem is so i'm going to comment at this line and just going to vadump this see what's the value here so go back to my email and click on that link so you see array size one string is nothing so there's nothing actually in the string that we'll send here so we go back and re-examine this now we know that what we are getting here is not an array so we are just going to remove this and i'll scroll back to the section where we encoded the id and here i'm going to wrap it in colibris Okay, so I'll go over to the browser again and uh, 
going to delete this account. So we re-register, same email address, same name, and uh, same password. Okay, registration successful. See that I already received one email now. Do we click on confirm email? Your email address has been verified. You cannot log in with your email address and password. So let's go over to our database and see. So we see activated is equal to one for this user. So, so this is basically how we can uh, ensure that users uh, activate their account before they are allowed to log in. So the last thing that we need to do to complete this lecture is to actually edit our login script so that it checks if the account is uh, activated before it allows the user to log in. So we'll go over to our code editor. I'm going to open pass login. So right here in our login script, there are a couple of ways that we can actually do this. Uh, one would just be for us to directly just add one line here and say, and uh, activated. Then we can specify activated, let's say equal to, we put it in place order. Okay, we could do like this, then supply the value that we want to use here. So for instance, we say activated go to one. We can uh, actually do this, but the problem will be that it's always going to display this error message when we do that. So uh, what we are going to do is to actually, once we check that the username is actually valid in the system, okay? So we are going to first of all check if the username is valid in the system. So if username is valid means this user has actually registered. So we're going to also get what is in the activated column. We're going to assess the value there. So it was activated. So now before we even go ahead to check if the password is correct, we are just going to wrap an if statement here. So we're going to say if activated is equal to zero, then there will be no need for us to even check the password. This user has not activated his account. So I'm just going to grab all this. Going to take all these codes that we use to check for the password and put it in the S part here. If activated is equal to zero, we are going to display one error message here. We just say, If activated is not equal to zero, which means uh, it's going to be one, and that means the user has actually activated the account. So we'll go ahead to verify the password and then sign the user back in. So let's give this a try and see. We'll go over to the browser, come to the login screen. We have demo and I'll put the password. Because you remember, activated is already one. So now if I change this value activated equal to zero, change this to be equal to zero, then I log out this user, then log in again. Okay, so it's still allowing us to log in, which means something is not correct. So if activated equal equal to, this is supposed to be a string. So the string and we try again demo testing so now it tells us please activate your account we go back again and reset the value to one 